Right, so I just checked out the Willy's Wonderland movie, rented it from the Redbox. Now, this movie is definitely worth checking out. I'd recommend, like, I'll probably buy it when it's like six bucks, five bucks around there. One of those movies. It's real good, like, in the sense that you get to see a dude, you know, kill a bunch of animatronics and uh, doesn't talk at all. So, real good. I recommend it. I mean, this is obviously going to have spoilers in it. You know, it's a dude that gets his car all jacked up. And the weird thing is, too, is they don't have an ATM for his card so he can pay to fix his tires. So then he's got to go, you know, pretty much go there and do this where he essentially gets stuck there for a night, like at Willy's Wonderland, fixing up the place and just cleaning it. And the thing is, is like, he obviously doesn't speak, but it doesn't really matter if he does or doesn't. This whole movie, it is not needed. But yeah, I'd recommend watching it. Um, you get to see cool puppet gore where it's like black blood coming from him. Like the oils and stuff flying out of him. He's ripping machines apart. He's killing them one by one. He's not really phased by it. He keeps drinking this like pop stuff every monster he kills or whatever and it's like these breaks that he takes and he actually fixes up this old pinball machine doesn't really necessarily fix it up but he like cleans it real well and he's got to do that every time it's like a break thing on his watch or whatever and there's kids that want to like burn to the ground because this girl like witnessed her parents getting slaughtered by him and the sheriff and the guy that originally had it pretty much set him up as a sacrifice that's why he's there um so the car thing was all it was all like put there to get him to be there so it was their con to get this guy to stay overnight and have these creatures set him be, been sacrificed to him pretty much originally the creatures were like people and they somehow sacrificed themselves or turned themselves into these animatronics or something they did like some kind of ritual where they bonded themselves to these robots and the sheriff and the people that own the place, Willie's Wonderland, the tow truck guy, they're all connected. They made a deal with them and that's how it kind of is kind of like the backstory of it and he's just, you know, another victim so that they won't kill the townspeople but it doesn't seem like it really matters if they do sacrifice or doesn't sacrifice to them. These creatures still kind of get out of the the place so i don't know it's something they feel like they got to do so the sheriff really wants them to be in there and get executed by these creatures but the problem is they got the wrong guy he is just knocking them off one by one uh kids jump in there to burn it down they realize he's in there and they try to come sa well, one mainly tries to push them to go save them and it really i know my my is kind of all over the place because it I don't know. I just watched it, but I'm kind of just thinking my train of thought just all over. I know. So sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, him doing what he does. I love it. You see black oil all over his face. This whole movie, it's kind of like evil dead in that aspect, but animatronics coming at him constantly. So he has that creep factor. If you're afraid of like robots, this is perfect for you. Just definitely hype it up. You know, he's got to constantly drink these drinks, kill these creatures, and it just kind of repeat after that. And I love the way he kills them, too, because he just goes crazy. It's the Nicolas Cage motions that I love. Um, but, yeah. The kids, however, start to get picked off when they break in. There's a good chunk of them, so decent kills with these animatronics. So, yeah, I would give it, like, probably five and a half, well, probably six out of ten. Yeah, I'm not gonna run out and buy it till it's cheaper, but I would probably add this to my, obviously I'd add it to my collection when it's cheap enough. I'm not gonna go spend the 15 bucks right now, I'll wait. Happy I rented it. It's definitely one of those movies that you're just kind of like, huh? So, subscribe, like if you like reviews of newer videos. I know my review is just kind of everywhere, but you either like it or you don't. It's like one of those movies that gets me to jump around a lot. I don't know. Might just be today. I need more coffee probably. But uh, yeah.
Definitely check it out. Rent it from the Redbox. $1.80 is not, not bad. I mean, it's four bucks, I think, on Voodoo right now, so do that too if you're too lazy. Either one, eh, it's worth it. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I know I just said it, but I did it again. <laughs> All right, later.